on survey sir? Good yes, again. Yeah. yeah, thank you. So I am too busy to make PPTs. Actually, I am busy to make PPTs. So I do the second best. I speak from the heart and experience. So my previous uh, speakers spoke about several times. So continue in the same chain. Today morning also I was at a conference in Delhi on secure IT. So I told them a story about an emperor long back. Raja tha bahut paise the uske paas. So many vendors would come to him to sell many things. So he said, okay, I will give you a very beautiful dress which is very lightweight, very secure. Koi boli maha hai, aapko kuch nahi hoga. Be very lightweight on you. And a special quality ki bhai maan hoga usko nahi dekhe. So you know the story very well. Ultimately, it took a child to say, Kere, ye to nata kaun raha hai. In our security, it's the same situation all across our private sector or corporate sector. Vendors are selling us anything and they are still totally naked. Anything can be picked up. And the setting is very old. This man in the middle of the tank is very old. Pahle wo pigeon se bhejte the message. So man in the middle of the pigeon ko pakad leta tha. Message pakad leta tha, message change kar leta tha. All of you are aware of it. And it's not very old also. Even in World War II, which was used both by UK and the German army. So data hacking, man in the middle, this is very old, uh, old stuff. And it continues. So after today's meeting, I, I was at the airport at one o'clock. So I went to a bookshop in Delhi at the airport. And I saw the top 10 popular books in that bookstore. First one was Jugak. That's very unfortunate that many people in our country glorify Jugak. That's the whole bale of our uh, cyber security. We believe too much in Jugak. We don't do quality work. Our coding is absolutely third rate. I see mission mode project after mission mode. Passwords stored in plain text. Or hash at the best. No sorting done. Many passwords in government as well as in the private sector. What is a password? It's a password. <laughs> or ABC123. Or 123456. Or NIC123. Now NICSAs have stronger passwords, minimum six letters, one capital, one special character. So 80 90% of the passwords are NIC with M capital at 123. So it's very, very easy to guess passwords even if you are storing and hashing the passwords without sorting and so on. My introduction was longer than my speech. So I promise you that. So I love playing with big data. So in the Mandala room next to mine I have a very good team and good software systems. So last week, I just had a hunch. I said, let us try to analyze the birth dates. And my hunch was, my theory was, that in previous generations, people who are 60, 70, 80 years old, maybe the marriage seasons were limited People were superstitious, there was no birth control, there was no climate control. So there will be certain peaks about the date of birth. And now it will be more flat on the curve. 
So probably that's going to be true. So I will have the analysis next week and I am going to put it on the net. So first question I asked my database uh, guy was, just run a command across what 5 crore uh, uh, records. What's the year of birth in the database of the citizen? The results were stunning. Our present life citizens, their years of birth are varying from 1802 to 2100. Can you believe it? <coughs> so that's the quality of our databases. The Jugaad thing I told you, that thing kills everything. It kills security, it kills quality. So, here also you see Indian value addition. So unfortunately, one Indian value addition is Juga. So let's stay away from that wrong value addition. Have better secure systems. Last week, three different persons came to me in Madhya. One came from Mumbai, one came from Pune, and one from Nagpur. All were victims of financial cyber crime. मैंने कभी किसी का मेरे पास क्यों आया? तीनों ने कहा पुलिस ने हमें बोला है राजेश अग्रवाल के पास जाओ। अगर पैसे वापस चाहिए क्या? They were not not lodging FIRs. They said go to adjudicating officer and write it. Last year in the entire country, 49 judgments were made. Unfortunately, all 49 were mine. Across the country, no body is doing their jobs. Police have to be lost in the police. You know they are working very hard. Not working very hard, but working very hard. Supreme Court made observations, and you can look up the word in the dictionary, what is working. P-U-R-K, not W-O-R-K. Maybe it started from a Bengali police station, what is working very hard. Nobody knows the basically origin of that word. So FIRs are not lost. The victim goes to the bank, the bank makes him run around for six months. You go to consumer forum, they will say not our job. You go to adjudicating officer, no, it is not fallen right yet. So in the last one year, we have passed 49 judgments. And uh, all of them are on the net on it.mahashtra.gov.in. Some are very interesting. I will put only two, three interesting judgments before I finish. In fact, the very first judgment I passed two years ago was husband wife case in Pune. Both are software engineers. So wife lost a dowry case against the husband. She knew the password of the husband and was foolish enough not to change it after the fight. So she logged into the husband's account and father-in-law's account to printouts of chat sessions connected over Gmail and all and used, to the, used them as evidence. So let me ask you a question. If you walk into police office or his cubicle and you see his Gmail is open or any mail is open and he is away or he is looking away, is it right on your part to look at the content, yes or no? <coughs> is it legal or, or illegal? Is it legal? Yeah, it's immoral or unethical, but probably legal. Okay. Let us say it's very interesting stuff and it's a long email. Okay, you have a glass at it, okay? Maybe very juicy, maybe partially legal, partially unethical, partially ethical. Now you scroll it down. Now, now you are being an active party, you are doing something. Does it become legal, illegal? It becomes slightly more unethical. But legality is still very fuzzy. Okay. So you don't have to crack or guess a password. If the thing is open, you read it, you are saying it is, all of you are agreeing that it is probably unethical. But probably legal, not illegal. Very difficult to prove. 
But you scroll down, yes, you are naming a tree, block tree. Now, if someone has put, put his password on a yellow sticky note or written on the wall nearby, you will mostly find this is the case. And now, if you basically open that thing, log into the address, probably most of you will say that it is not so legal. So, unauthorized access hacking does not mean cracking the password. That was one of the aspects that happened in my judgment. Second, more interesting for you was that I said that when the bond of trust is broken even between husband and wife or employer, employer or anybody. Even picking up the phone and reading the SMSs, that's happening. Picking up your spouse's phone and seeing the last dialed numbers, that's not so good legally. That can actually cause divorces, yeah. If you are calling the wrong kind of people, if she finds out you are calling your girlfriend at 11 in the night, it can be problematic. And I am saying it is it goes under a right against IT Act also. Incidentally, this judgment was uh, appealed against the <coughs> Delhi High Court, which also upheld this judgment. So it's now a case law. Uh, there was an allusion to intermediaries liabilities, section 43 and 43. Uh, your bank statement. Now you are in, most of you are employers also. And you, you may have given sal uh, your salary accounts to your employees. Can you get a detailed bank statement of your employees? So not so good. So I have made it a breach of privacy. An employer has no right to get detailed bank statement of an employee. An ex-wife for any money purpose has no right to get bank statement by questionable means from, uh, from the bank. And you know the banks are given to be in writing. <coughs> now there is core banking system. So any employee sitting anywhere in the country from his bank account, employee bank account, bank employee bank account, a bank employee account. They can print your detailed statement and give it to you. The banks have given to me in writing that their software does not have log train of which employee from which branch took this printout. So that's a situation of basically privacy or non-privacy in the country. Your bank, your uh, detailed uh, phone, mobile phone statement. This is also very dicey. Now it can contain whom you called, at what time, for how much time, and who called you. Now in US there was a case that this data leaked out that a girl called the boyfriend then she called a gynecologist who specializes in abortions <coughs> and then she committed suicide. So what can be inferred out of this? All of you are making quick inferences. So the police investigators also did quick inferences on this. Let us say I know it from your detailed phone call statement that you are making phone calls to a doctor who specializes in cancer or in AIDS. Quick to take inferences. You see that police commissioner is very pali with a builder, there are 20 calls to a builder. So you can make your inferences. So that is also a detailed, uh, basically very private document should not be leaked out. So I had Vodafone in one case guilty of this, that they gave the <coughs> detailed bill statement to a wrong person to whom they should not have given. So we are in very interesting times, especially privacy, the role of intermediaries. In 
security, we are not very conscious of coding quality, we are not very conscious of configuring our products well. In the evening, just before I came for this meeting, I was sitting with the secretary of the state government. We were talking of security. And I told him every data this in this country is for sale. Every data. Every data. Then I told him, as a joke, you give me 50,000 rupees cash. You give me one week's time. You tell me the name of any department of yours. Next week I will give you the data piece of that department. Any of you sitting here can obtain anybody else's quality as little as 5,000. It's not a very happy situation. So much more needs to be done. But all of us, basically our chance have to be much more aware of that when we are using computers, when we are using internet, we have to be conscious of how much we have open ourselves on the net, on Facebook, on social media, how we use our passwords, how we store our passwords, how we remember our passwords what kind of products we use and how we basically train our employees keep a check on their attitudes also and I started by saying that uh, man in the middle of attack is very old man. the last point I want to make is one quote from I am very fond of it in Chanakya also. What's the best place to hide a spy? Just us to Kahan Chupana Any answers? Right in front of your eyes. That's the best place where a spy hides. Thank you.